please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon now i will be teaching you a 3d pattern okay so let's focus on the second type which is a 3d pattern so where have you learned heard this term children 3d you have usually seen a 3d movie so what do you mean by that word 3d 3d is something which gives us a very closer look right the things appear to be real for us okay so in flat shape it is only drawn by a mere line whereas in 3d shape the particular object is being projected like it is very near to us okay so in 3d the very first thing that you are going to learn is a cube. So, what is a cube? So, I am going to draw the figure of a cube. Okay. Yes. So, can you tell me what can be the features of a cube children? Yes. Before that, I will tell you the face which we can see, that is the front part, is called as the face. Okay? And this corner is called as the edge. Okay? The corner part of it is called as the edge, whereas the, the part which is visible to us, that is called as the face. So now, can you tell me what are the features of a cube? Yes? Shall we begin? Okay. So, it has got six flat faces and it has got eight vertices. Vertices, if you remember, I told you, it is nothing but the corners. Okay? And it has got 12 straight edges. Okay. So, coming to the first one, six flat faces. So, if you count here, the first one, second one, third one, fourth, fifth and the bottom one, sixth. Right. So, now... I will just show you the same with the example of a cuboid. Okay. So, if you see here, this is the shape or the face of the box. Okay. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and if it was covered here, then it would have been 6. So, this is called the 6 flat faces. Clear? Now, coming to the next one, it says 8 vertices or 8 corners. So, shall we count the number of corners here? 1, 2, 3, 4, similarly the back side, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, it has got 8 corners or 8 vertices. The next is 12 straight edges. So, let us count the number of lines a cube has got. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, it has got 12 straight edges as well. Okay. The next thing which we are going to see here in the 3D shape is a cuboid. Okay, a cuboid is made with a combination of a rectangle and a square. So, this is called as my cuboid, where the shape is not identical for all the sides. Okay, so it is a combination of a rectangle, whereas this is a combination of a square. If you see the example of a cube, I can say dice, I can say a box, okay. And if you see the example of a cuboid, I can say a duster, 
a book. Okay. So now let us take here the example of a duster. Okay. So cuboid has also got the same features of a cube. Same it has got six flat faces. It has got eight vertices. And it has got twelve straight edges. Okay. So now we will be seeing it with the live experiment. Okay. So coming to the face part. I said it has got six faces. Let us count. It's one, two, three, four, five and six. So it has got six faces. Okay. The next one is eight vertices which means the corners. So let us count the sides of the corners. 1, 2, 3, 4, then this side, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So it has got 8 vertices or corners. Okay. The next is 12 straight edges. That is the line. Shall we count the line? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, this side 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay. So, it has got 12 straight edges. So, the features of a cube and a cuboid is the same when it comes to a 3D pattern shape. Clear? So, moving to the next one. The next shape which we are going to learn here is a cone. Okay, so this is a cone. And what is a cone children? What can be the example of a cone? I can say a party cap. Right? So, the features of the cone states that it has got one curved face and one flat face. It has got one curved edge and one vertex. Okay. So, this area is called as the flat face. That is the bottom part. Okay. This is called as the curved face. Okay, this top point is the vertex and this is the curved edge. This point is the curved edge. Okay, so if you see here, this tip point is called as the vertex. Okay, the top point is called as the vertex, that is the point and it has got only one vertex. Okay, next, this is called as the flat surface. When you see a cone, it's surrounded like this, right? So, the bottom part, if you find, you can, you can actually divide it. So, this is the flat face. Okay, then it has got a curved face. When cover like this. When you wear a cap, you cover it like this, right? So, that covering face is your curved face and it has got one curved face too, okay? And then this is called the curved edge, like the point where it joins. When you take a triangular sheet and when you try to curl it and then, you no, know, fix it off, the point where it joins, that is the curved edge. So, it has got one vertex, one curved edge, one flat face and one curved face. Clear children? So, moving to the next one is the cylinder. And cylinder you can say is a coke bottle. 
Coke can I can say or a Pepsi can, okay. You can even say it as your pencil which is a cylinder shape, right. So, this is the shape of a cylinder. Okay, so this point and this point is the flat faces. It has got two flat faces. This point and this point is called the curved edge. Okay. And this is the curved surface. So, I can say the features here are it has got three faces in which it has got two flat face and one curved face. Okay, and then you can see it has got two curved edges and it has got no vertices. Okay, so it means that here the two points, the two corners are the curved edges. Okay, these are the curved edges. And it is a combination of a flat face and the curved face. So, it has got two flat face that is the top and the bottom. Okay. They are the flat faces and the center which is surrounded in a no cylindrical form that is the curved face. So, in, to, in, in total it has got three faces. A cylinder has got three faces. It has got two curved edges and it has got no vertices. Can you notice any corner here children? Any tip or the point here? No. So, it has got no corners or vertices. Okay. So, these are the basic features of a 3D shape.